David Taub here with one of the all-time greats in basketball, Bill Walton. Bill. <laughs> I'm here with my great friend David from GV Wire. How cool is this? Yeah, this is a first for me. Not the first in the Central Valley. I'm a Central Valley guy. Even though I live in San Diego, my dad, my dad's from Taft, and my wife is from Tracy. So, yeah, we see that you're the headline speaker here at the uh, Centennial right. f event for the Farm Bureau. But what, what's your background in ag? I eat <laughs> all the time, and I love community, I love team, I love progress, I love development, and I love all the things and elements in life that go into that, David. And so when we see what the people who have built this great state, I love California. This is the greatest place in the history of the world. And the people who have come here to, to settle, to dream, to build, to dance, Grateful Dead played here July 1974. Do we have challenges? Absolutely, we're always gonna have challenges. But uh, our ability to solve those challenges, that's what an advocacy group like the Fresno County Farm Bureau is all about. The ability to, to look out and see what can we do to make the world better. Now, back in your college days at UCLA, in addition to being playing on the court, you're known for uh, your political activism. Right. We were plenty of games at, at Berkeley in your, in your travels. So you see what's going on in Berkeley with, I guess, the new wave of protests there. What are your thoughts when you see these riots on the streets? I'm opposed to violence, and I'm a huge believer in free speech. And if, if people want to get up there and spew nonsense, you, know, you, you have to let them. But, you know, hate speech, uh, I'm not for. I'm, I, the things that make group dynamics work are sacrificing discipline, understanding, compassion, balance in life, in everything. The things that lead to failure are lack of honor, selfishness, greed, anger, and hatred. And so all that promotes violence, which I am. 100% opposed to. And so uh, we, we have to figure out a way to, uh, to understand, to accept our differences, and to come together and move forward. What can we do for the people who are having trouble? What can we do to lift the burden to make their lives better? And sports is the unifying element in all of our lives here. And one of the reasons that I have the utmost admiration for David Stern, who's the greatest, the most important man in the history of all of basketball, and he's your size. I mean, <laughs> he's your size. And, but, you know, David Stern. I think you just went out afraid there. <laughs> David Stern, he used basketball to make the world a better place. And that comes through knowledge, through education, and, and through compassion and empathy and all the different things that go into understanding that uh, people are different. Now, you hear, you know, this LeBron James, you know, with his activism. He says something on a controversial topic, people get on him. He doesn't say something, people get on him. I mean, is, is there any way to satisfy everybody? Don't use the word, David, controversial. Controversial is an overused word because when everybody thinks alike, nobody thinks. Kareem is coming out with a, a, a new book next week, and I, I've read an advanced copy because I'm going to be interviewing him for the book tour in Los Angeles in a couple of weeks. But his new book is entitled Coach Wooden and Me, My 50 Years of Friendship with the Coach. And you could not find two more opposite people. Here's Kareem, 7'2", Black, Harlem, Coach Wooden, 5, who knows what. Everybody under 6'10 <laughs> looks exactly the same to me <laughs> <laughs> from Martinsville, Indiana, right? Yet they found a way to make it work through, through mutual interest, through mutual respect, through kindness, through dignity, and the relationship that they had. And, and, and just think of what, you know, all the lessons in life that Coach Wooden taught us. And, and, and you know, the, the, think of uh, Neil Young's Are You Passionate? And, and, and the cornerstones of John Wooden's pyramid of success, industriousness and enthusiasm, do you love what you're doing? Are you willing to work at it? But how about Neil Young's Are You Passionate? Are you living like you talk? And are you dreaming as if you're going to the top? And that's what greatness is all about. And, and, and that celebration of brilliance, the celebration of leadership, willing to step to the front and say, 
I'll take care of this. And, you know, I, I've had a lot of that in my life. And the, the people who have shaped me, made me, given me the opportunities, given me the life that I have, and that's what this Fresno County Farm Bureau is all about. But that's a, just a grand reflection of this incredible community here. It's truly great. All right, finally, favorite Grateful Dead song? The next one I hear, David. I'm uh. a deadhead. I've been a deadhead for 50 years. I'll be out on tour this summer. <laughs> or be in, starts on May 27th, Las Vegas, then Phoenix the next night, then two nights that week at the Hollywood Bowl, then two nights at Shoreline on the weekend. I'll be there. And I'll be at all of those. And then we're going to Salt Lake City, and then we're going to Boulder for two more. And then when the band goes east, <laughs> I'm going home to San Diego and get back to work. All right, the Grateful Dead tour manager, Bill Walton, thanks so much there for joining us. Go, I go, I go. And the band played on. The music never let it stop. Here we go. The fire is on the mountain. All right. Thank you. Thank you, David.